Howdy folks, John here with John's View Photography. Coming up in just a few weeks, it's going to be the workshop up in Stanley. I am going to be the educator for night photography, and I am very, very excited to teach you what I know. So, wanted to kind of let you know what the class is going to be about, some of the things to expect, some of the things not to expect. So, a lot of people come with a little bit of apprehension about night photography because they feel like they don't know the first thing about it. And the reality is you probably do know the first thing about it. If you're coming to this course, there's a good chance you understand the exposure triangle and how that relates to letting in a lot of light into your camera to capture a very dark image. So that part's not going to be needed to be explained to you, right? So you already have an idea, but it's the minute details that a lot of people are not aware of as far as how to get those really good looking shots of the core of the Milky Way, really, really bright, crisp stars and how that all relates to a little bit of math. I'm sorry, there's going to be some math involved, but it won't be too bad. Trust me. Very easily understood. I do it all the time. I've gotten to the point where I can do it in my head. There's also going to be a little bit about signal to noise ratio, not necessarily ISO noise, because ISO noise is not something we're dealing with a lot. You're talking about exposures that are going to be kind of level across the entire photo itself, right? Everything, it's dark. You're, you're not going to have this weird, very, very light area, very dark area. No, the whole thing's dark, so you don't really have to worry about that ISO noise. You do have to worry about signal to noise ratio. I'm also going to be talking about planning. That's a very, very big part of this is planning. So you need to know a few things about where the stars are going to be. You're going to want to know how bright the moon's going to be as well. You're also going to want to know where moon rise and moon set is as well as sunrise and sunset. So an ephemeris, if you have an app on your phone already, great. I can recommend some great ones. Same thing with the stars, if you have an app on your phone. There's many of them out there. Great. If not, I can recommend some really good ones. Um, Phases of the Moon, another great app. Download it. Uh, if you feel like looking a few up and downloading them now, that'll get you kind of prepped so you can see what we're actually up to and what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm very excited. Very excited to bring my info to you. I want to get you out there at night in these glorious locations and capture what is our amazing, amazing galaxy that is the Milky Way. It is beautiful out there and I want you guys to be able to capture it too. So I will see you in a few weeks in Stanley. Thank you very much.